today I would, I'm going to discuss how to simulate uh, mean bit oscillator by using operation amplifier so in for one so for this case I will go for create a new circuit so I'm going to create new circuit here uh, so whenever I'm creating new circuit uh, there is the workspace in which we need to create the uh, overall my circuit so in this case I would like to use my operation amplifier so in for one so here this is what my operation amplifier so in for one here so this is what my operation amplifier is in for one now so i required uh, uh, four resistances so i can choose the resistance from this uh, from this uh, tool so this is what one resistance i required so remaining resistance i required copy and paste so this is what the copy so automatically we create one more resistance and we have one more uh, resistance we required so this would be vertical like this direction so yeah so this is enough uh, uh, so we can we complete the all resistance uh, required for this experiment fine yeah <coughs> now i'll go for capacitances for this we required uh, uh, two capacitances the value of the capacitance would be 60 nanofarads here one capacitance like this and uh, one more resistance one more capacitance uh, like parallel to this one yeah so this is what the the overall circuit uh, the requirement now we're going to connect it here so like this this is the uh, way to make a connection to yeah so all the elements together and yeah and i require one more uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, <coughs> ground here we create a ground here then i will connect at this point need to terminal to like this point yeah almost all uh, connections are completed i required grounds here and i require one more ground here make connection like this make a connection like this yeah. and we required a connection to like this and required connection to like this yeah this is what the overall wind bridge connection and i would like to change the values of the required element and also i required the power supply portion so i uh, in this area in this portion i would like to create power supply so for this case i required dc power supply sources one is uh, plus 2 volts and the other one is what again I required another plus 12 volts so here I would like to make uh, plus 12 volts now I would like to use copy here yeah. so I, one is sufficient now I would like to use connecting wires like this I would like to use connecting wires now i would like to use connectors here here we have connectors so here i can use one more connector here yeah. so this is what the correct connector So this is what the wire connection. Yeah. Now I would like to rename these uh, connectors to uh, VCC and uh, VAG. So VCC acting like uh, uh, plus uh, 12 volts. I would like to rename here uh, VCC. And uh, I would like to rename here 
ये ये या माय वाड़ी कल पावर सप्लाई पोस्ट नोट्स कंप्लीटेड नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू कॉपी दिस वन एंड पेस्ट हियर सो वी वुड लाइक टू मेक अरेंजमेंट कनेक्ट टू द पावर पोस्ट पावर सप्लाई एंड हियर पेस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट हियर copy and paste here yeah like this connection so i would like to this is what need to power supply uh, minus 12 volts connect like this pass to 12 volts connect like this yeah. i think the overall connection is completed <coughs> we need to just later so so we need to just later oscillator we're going to save we're going to uh, I'm going to save the file yeah, okay uh, so it's going to save so after completion of all the things uh, now I would like to vary my values of the corresponding resistance this resistance value should be uh, around 20 point k kilo ohms 20.3 20.3 kilo ohms yeah and this would be 10 kilo ohms <laughs> 10 kilo ohms now this would be 10 kilo ohms And I think it's very good. Uh, I think I would like to change this one also. This was the 10 clones. So uh, all value, uh, values we changed. Oh, sorry. 10 clones. Yeah. And I would like to change the capacitor value. Here the capacitor value we can use 16 nanofarads. 16 nanofarads. So the value of the capacitor in this case 16 nanofarad. So in this case also we can use 16 nanofarads only. 16 nanofarads. So so this is the way we complete the overall uh, uh, what do you call it? overall circuit and its corresponding values. Uh, we complete the overall circuit. After completion of overall circuit design, uh, now we will go for the simulation. I think it is very clear uh, to understand the overall uh, uh, circuit. Now I will go for uh, simulation. So I will go for simulation by clicking the corresponding arrow icon. Now we have simulated. Uh, sorry, uh, one thing is missing that is what uh, uh, probe. Uh, so I missed the probe. Sorry. So I would like to use a voltmeter or oscilloscope by clicking this one and connecting like this. Yeah. Now uh, all connections are completed. Uh, now I will go going to save the file. Yeah. So everything is uh, completed. My circuit. So uh, everything is good. Uh, now I am going to simulate by using this uh, simulation icon. So it is going to generate a simple sinusoidal waveform. Now we can uh, we can observe the sinusoidal waveform by clicking that uh, wave. So here we have a simple sinusoidal waveform appeared. So I think uh, so this is the way we can understand this is a sinusoidal waveform. Now I would like to change my uh, overall uh, amplitude curve. So I can observe. So this is what sinusoidal waveform. Yeah, we can easily observe the corresponding sinusoidal. Uh, we can use other signs of waveform. So this is the way uh, we can clearly understand uh, the overall uh, signs of waveform, right? So I think it is very clear. So this is what the simulated results. Uh, we clearly observed that 
uh, we obtain the overall assigned uh, solution form so it's going to load right so there is some settings have changed yeah so i think it is very clear so overall uh, yeah so So this is what uh, my sign solution found and we can use find to the corresponding waveform. Good. So in this way we can easily create my uh, output sign solution, right? Yeah, thank you.